Kate Willett, she's the co-host of the Reply Guys podcast, and uh, she's the author of Dirtbag Anthropology, which is an Audible original, and her 15-minute special premiered on Netflix comedy lineup. So, without further ado, welcome, Kate. Hello. How are you? Hello. Good. How are you? Pretty good. Good. Nice to see you. Uh, you're. Are you not, not at home? I am at home, yeah. I just, uh, I started like podcasting in the room next door to my room because my oh. cats are in the other room and they make a lot of noise. So <laughs> I, 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 I'm giving myself some space from them. Wow. I like it. Yeah. It's kind of a uh, Spartan. I know I need to put, some, I, I got to put some books or, or flowers. Just throw or, or a, something. throw a, like a, yeah, throw a tapestry. Those are yeah. good though. They yeah, can be good, but they can be a little like, they're a little fortune reading. Yes. Yeah, Sometimes. that's kind of my vibe. I've got that California that kind of hippie vibe. thing. I, I yeah. remember when I made you go to nature. <laughs> and you oh, yeah, it. we went. We had a fun time in nature. I liked it. We just weren't prepared. Yes. Yeah. Do I out you as that person who I was with when I shared uh, that's the okay. story? That's okay. I'm, I'm willing to be oh. outed as the, as the okay, yeah. uh, Kate, incompetent nature friend. Yeah. Yeah. I shared this story about having an interesting nature adventure where we started out so strong uh, on a river and the current was actually stronger than we were. It's really my fault because I spent a lot of time here. I should have known that you can't go against the current for that long, but Kate looked confident and I thought maybe she would just lead us there and I would be like playing backup kind of, but it was just too much. We couldn't do it. And we would have been fine had we been wearing life jackets, which everyone must wear. Everyone it's must true. wear life jackets. You got to do it really important wear a life jacket also uh keep your shoes on i got my that wasn't really your fault though but Uh, yeah we got out of the the boat to walk and it was muddy and the the mud ate one of my shoes right at which point we had to change plans a little bit because we were no see i never thought we'd be able to walk it all the way back well there was there was a there was a water shoe but the water shoe got eaten Right. The there mud. was one shoe that you had on that was right, which was not yeah. even a water shoe because I think a water shoe wouldn't have gotten eaten if it had been a real water shoe. It was like, they were like water safe shoes. Not like, they were they like were, shoes put in the water. They were wa- definitely waterproof, but they yeah. weren't like, I can go s- put my foot in the mud and get my foot out with the shoe attached water. Ah, uh, yeah. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They yes. were totally waterproof. In fact, they're as sensible as you can look while still looking nice. So what was the discussion like to get someone drive you back to your car, Katie, after you almost sailed down the channel? It's a good question. And uh, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, The joke's on you because I don't drive. It was Kate's car, which we had left at a friend's house. And uh, we were finally figured out we could just float down the river and get to basically from this friend's house to my parents' house. And we would have been fine. But then what happened is the the boat we were in, which was like a, a float had a hole in it. So then we basically spoke to some people who were on like the shore drinking beers. They didn't look trash. Not that we had any choices. I mean, we would have gotten into the car with a strung out, very drunk, high on heroin tweaking person at this point. Cause again, we were like at plan D. So we basically told them what happened and we were trying to get them to get us a phone, but they were kind of lazy about not wanting to get their phone, which was weird. Like they had service, which was one part of the battle because a lot of people don't have service. So they did have service, but they didn't have their phones on them. So then we were like, okay, well, sorry, but our boat is literally like sinking. We don't have a lot of choices. So can you please help us with a phone? And at that point, they asked us where we, where we were going and it was close enough that they just drove us there. Then Kate had to walk across, this is like the Odyssey, but worse. You had to walk across some thorny path in one shoe. Yes, a lot of brush, a lot of very dry brush. brush. Yeah. What I should have done was walked and then thrown you my shoes. But we didn't say that. My feet have healed. It's all good. I came back. I tried to keep my voice lower because I don't know why. I was really afraid that like we were going to scare them off. I feel like your voice was a little higher than usual. When I get anxious, I get kind of deadpan and like dour, which is, I think you're the more typical anxious person when you're anxious. Yeah. Well, also when we were trying to get the ride, I was like, okay, this guy is, 
<laughs> he seemed kind of conservative. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then I think they were singing "I'm proud to be an American." Yeah, it was a lot. Right? They definitely uh, voted for uh, Donald Trump. Probably, sure. yeah. Probably, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say they, they believe won. the 2020 election was stolen. Was the vibe there? Really? You think that much? Interesting. The, there was, there was a stop the steal vibe, that. but we stop were out of options. Vibe. Yeah, we were totally out of options. I would have told them that it was totally stolen. I mean, yeah. I would have gone full pizza gate if needed. <laughs> just to get like, home if that guy had been willing to toss me some shoes yeah i would have been like hillary yeah. clinton body double 